What is going on, guys? Your boy Joker, man. Uh, this is, believe it or not, this is my third take doing this. Uh, let's try to see if I get it right this time, man. Uh, yeah, man. So well, I took a trip down to uh, Richie's comic band up in Connecticut, man, uh, with the Warriors. Met up with Josh, uh, and yeah, man. I'll show you what I picked up. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so uh, we took a trip out to Connecticut, uh, met up with uh, Biggs, uh, he picked me up, uh, and uh, E-Rod was taking a ride with him too, uh, so it was us three, uh, took a nice little two-hour drive up to Connecticut, and uh, yeah, man, you really know, man, when it's us three, uh, when it's, whenever it's the Warriors around, and you just, we just have a blast, man, just talking mess, uh, and uh, yeah, shout out to Manny who wasn't there, but yeah, man, you, you, you entertained us while you wasn't there, how about that, uh, so shout out to you, bro. And we got there, and uh, immediately, you already know, man, uh, we always talk about Richie's comic band over here in East Peace West, and that is my LCS, that is Josh's LCS, and they welcomed us, man. It was it was awesome. Uh, but before I get into that, you know, I'm going to show you uh, books I picked up from Midtown this past week for New Comic Book Day, uh, and my pull is from Richie, um, and then I'll get to the back issues. Uh, just nice little stack of back issues. Let me know what I think, you know, you know after. Uh so I went to Midtown, uh, picked up for New Combo Day. I picked up these previews, just DC Connect and uh, the, just the Marvel uh, preview book. And you know, you never know with uh, previews, what's going to go on with these uh, first appearances. Uh, and, and you can pre-order this book now, you know. Uh, Y'all see it eventually in the FOC. Uh, but, you know, first Mandalorian and Marvel. Uh, that's the Eddie Granoff cover there, the A cover. Uh, John Tyler Christopher action figure B cover, and then the one in fifty Francis Lionel U cover. There's also one in ten and the one in twenty five. All right. Uh, so yeah, so pick this up from Midtown. Going through the um back issues, they were having like a thirty percent off back issues. Uh, so I went through Star Wars and all this and that. Checked out so what they had. Uh, and saw these two books. I was I said yeah, I get them. Uh, here I have, I didn't have this one here of Ing Nguyen Lee of Captain, Mar Captain Marvel issue number 31. Uh, dope cover there. Picked that one up. Then I picked up another Captain Marvel issue number 36. Awesome binary cover. So, pretty dope. Picked that one up. Uh, talked about this on uh, East Meets West Live podcast show. Uh, just make sure y'all check those out. You know, we have, you know, segments of where we talk about certain things in comic books. Uh, and I, we revamped it, um, uh, the new comic book day, um, picks over here in East Beach West. Um, I'll give you my picks of, you know, what books is coming out. Uh, so pay attention to the FOC. And then three weeks later, you know, just a reminder, yeah, listen, some books, you know, look out for, um, for new comic book day. So here we got, um, Kin Kintara, Kintara Stone, uh, from Keen Spot Comics. Um, beautiful Ken Lashley cover there. Awesome cover there. I read, this, uh, I read this, the synopsis on this and... It sold me. I was on it. I had to pick it up. I haven't read it yet. Let's see, see what's up. Here I have Shadow War um, Alpha, issue number one. Just an awesome, awesome Batman cover there with Deathstroke in the back. Uh, missed this. I didn't put this on my pull list, uh, but I do have it now uh, in Midtown. Picked it up. A nice copy of um, Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 93. Uh, Patrick Gleason cover. This is the book to have. <laughs> they spell out Chasm right there in the cover. You see Chasm, you know, Patrick Gleason styled, weaponized, or whatever you want to call it. Um, awesome cover. This is pretty dope. They have a 150, but this is just, to me, is better than 150. Uh, cover price there. Picked that one up. And then the hot book of the week here Bat Batman Beyond, issue number one. Uh, Batman Beyond, the White Knight, issue number one. Sean Murphy cover there. Uh, this is the cover to get. He said it was low printed. Some shops were in Gandam. Uh, so, yeah, this is, everybody was storming to get these. And there is a one per store. And, um, Technically, it's a one per store because you know uh, stores were f uh, sent to, to to fill out a, a questionnaire, and if you get you know if you answer the questionnaire, uh, you get the black and white version of this right here. Awesome cover. I see if I throw it up here and what they asking for on eBay. Yeah, it's just crazy. And you, listen, pretty dope cover though. 
All right, so pick that one up there. Uh, those were the pickups from Midtown. I'm um, trying to pick up, uh, you know, go through these books because there's a lot of books. I'm trying to cut this off uh, by 15 minutes. Um, my pull list from um, um, Richie's Comic Cabana went out there, picked up my books, you know, with Josh. You know, I, I, I'll have him, you know, ship my books usually, but this time, since I knew it was going there ahead of time, uh, I told him to hold off on shipping, you know. So this is a couple months of, uh, of um, my books from my pull list. Uh, some books are older. Some books are, you know, from um, last week's New Comic Book Day. Uh, 750 of Avengers. Awesome Doctor Doom cover there. McGinnis cover. Awesome. Awesome cover. Uh, here we have uh, Marvel Voices. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Comunidades. Excuse me. Comunidades of uh, the Latin X. The Latin and Latin X covers there. Uh, representing my Hispanic people there. Uh, Hispanic characters in the MC, well, in the Marvel, Marvel comics. Uh, that was a joke. Um, Casada cover, by the way, awesome eight cover there, pretty dope. I think this cover was about ten dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's not a book. So, eh. yeah. represent, baby. Uh, uh let, here I have a uh, Woman of Marvel, which number one, just an awesome, awesome Merka and Dolfo A cover. Love that cover. That cover's dope, dope, dope. dope. And they doing uh you know they have these gimmicky um, covers up in Marvel. They'll do uh Venomize, Carnage Eyes, this and that. And, and this week they doing um X Gwen variants. And um not all of them are home runs. Some of them are pretty dope. Uh some of them you know doo doo. Uh but this one was dope. I enjoyed this one. Uh and shout out to you Doom. I have some of these. I, I'm gonna pack them out and send them to you, bro. Um at, here I have um Shang Chi. Awesome Tony Fleeks cover. And if you know Tony Fleeks, do Stray Dogs. All right. Awesome um, Gambit cover there. Gwen Stacy. Then we have uh, Ghost Rider issue number one. Awesome. Awesome Taryn Clark cover. Taryn? Taryn? However you want to pronounce it. All right. I thought this cover was dope. You know, um, Black Panther issue number four. Uh, the Stephanie Hans cover amazing on this one. Uh, but this Phil Noto variant of Gwen Stacy of um X Gwen, excuse me, pretty dope, pretty dope. Uh, shout out to uh one of the hottest artists right now in uh in comic books right now. Uh, does amazing art. Um, possibly, arguably, because there's a couple of them out there too that's dope. You know, and you know we mentioned them throughout you know our show. Uh, but David Nakayama has been killing it. You know what I mean? So here I have um, She-Hulk issue number two of David Nakayama, Spider-Gwen. I mean, X-Gwen uh, variants. The Wolverine. Uh, shout out to David Nakayama again with Avengers issue number 54. Nice David Nakayama cover there. I had to angle it because if I do it like that, you see the light there. So, All right. Uh, and then we have uh, Salvador La Roca cover of issue 54. Pretty cool cover. Uh, not familiar with uh, Javier Garin or whatever you want, how you pronounce it. Garin? Garin? There you go. And then um, some indie books. Here yeah, I picked up um, Spawn issue 327 of the McFarlane. Homage to Spider Man number one. Pretty dope cover there. With Haunt on the cover. I uh, saw this on FOC when we did a couple, a few weeks ago, um, and I had to put it on my uh, um, FOC. Um, not familiar with this artist either, man. Um, this is Jay and the Kletto. Uh, this is from Lady Mechanica. This is the Monster of the Ministry of Hell, issue number three for Lady Mechanica. Just a dope cover there, man. Beautiful, gorgeous cover. Really like that cover. Uh, next we have uh, this I picked up off the wall when I was there at Richie's because I missed out on it. Uh, and Richie, you know, let me have it. Uh, TMNT, the ongoing 127, um, the Kevin Eastman variant, the first Venus cover. So, pretty dope. Here I have Batman Killing Time, issue number one, issue number two, Tom King. Gotta read it, see what's up, what's going on with that. Uh, Future State Gotham, first appearance of um, the next Joker. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel. I, I enjoy Tom Taylor's uh, issue number one of this. Uh, the art is awesome, so give it a read, man. I recommend it. So, 
pretty dope. Uh, code, code up to this. This is issue one of Batman the Night. Uh, Chip Zdarsky and Chip Zdarsky is going to be taking on Batman. I forgot what issue it is, uh, but he's taking um, on the on the run of a Batman, I think, in June, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's June. But this one right here uh, is pretty dope. It takes his own um, uh, origins of Batman and, and Bruce Wayne, I should say, and just, you know, gives it his twist. It's pretty dope. So uh, it's up to issue three. So it's Batman the Night. That's 10 book issues, um, 10 book miniseries. And then the hot book, I picked up another copy of uh, Batman the White, Beyond the White Knight, issue number one, Sean Murphy cover, the cover A. Uh, so yeah, man, so picked up Nice Stack from Richie, uh, gave us access to his inventory in the back, you know, welcomed us, uh, you know, all of us, me, Biggs, Erod, Biggs, his nephew, um, Big Fetty Pops a Henny, shout out to you, bro, you was there too, um. You know, dig some book through some books for like an hour or so. Took a break, had some lunch, came back and started digging again. You know, so and you know, give us a he gave us a great, great deal on these books. Uh, shout out to, to Richie. Richie's a great dude. Uh, awesome to talk to, man. Stories for days. Um, and you know, it gave us access to, to his you know inventory in the bag, books that he hasn't even priced yet. Uh, so it, you know, it goes to show. Uh, so I got like I said, a nice stack. Show you what I picked up. Um. And shout out to Josh, man. Uh, he was there too. Uh, him and his brother Nick, um, going through books too. They were picking up some stuff too, so I'm sure they'll show it off. On you know, uh, here I picked up was going through loan boxes, and I saw this book here, and I didn't have it. You know, I, I always saw it, and I just never had it. So I, you know, picked this one up. Here's Batman Grendel, the Ash Can Edition. Uh, here are these you picked up in the Heroes Illustrated magazine. Uh, these came with two Ash Cans in a poly bag, um, sealed. Uh, was this one and the Star Trek one came with an X Men poster, came with treated cards. Uh, so yeah, just a heads up on that. And then there's a that came with this one or a gold foil. Um, you know, see the red sun or the red moon. It was it was gold. Uh, and then they had a questionnaire in the book. If you fill it out, twenty five people are out of the twenty five people who filled out, they end up getting the supposedly called the Platinum or Silver um, Edition. So those, 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 that's the one to look out for. The crazy prices, the prices they were asking for that one, but you know this one's pretty dope. Yeah, that one didn't he didn't have the gold one, so I picked that one up. Uh, uh, I picked this one up here, and I took a gamble. I was like, I right, you know, I take a chance because it was it was for cheap. Um, see if this was the the edited. The unedited version of the Mission Impossible. Here, Tom Cruise. Uh, the, this is the movie adaptation. Uh, Tom Cruise didn't um like how he looked. He was posing. He thought he looked at a little feminine in one of the panels. Uh, changed it out. And you know, usually the one that's unedited, the way he looks a little fe feminine or whatever. Um, it's out there. Uh, and that's the one that you know you want to get. And I took a gamble, thinking I would. I had it. Um, I don't have it. You know. So, but again, didn't really pay much for this. Didn't pay nothing, I should say, for that. Uh, so pick this one up. Uh, two. These I think is pretty dope. These are the martial arts um authorized training manuals of the TMNT guys. Here I have um Leonardo, and then I have Michelangelo. This is Rafael Donatello, and I think there's another one of all four of them. Um, pretty cool. High, hard to get a high grade. Um, these these are like VF minus co um copies, but nonetheless, man, I have a set already. Trying to make another set, you know. So stay tuned. No auction. I might, I might see it out there. Uh, here I got Amazing Fantasy number number fifteen. <laughs> the reprint one, you know. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Just thought that cover was awesome. Uh, never had this book. Here I have Sensational She Hulk issue number one. Uh, don't get it twisted. This is it got a whole little hole by the staple there. A new stand. Got it again for like five dollars. You know, if that. I forgot because he bundled everything up. Um, but I never had this, and was she Hulk coming out? Pretty dope, you know, so might as well have been a throw in, probably. Uh, amazing, um, Spider Man issue number 611. This is the Scotty Young, uh, first print, though. All right, second printing will tell you second printing on top of there for anything, and then I think this is like uh, some letters over here where his, you know, where the Deadpool emojis at right now, some letters in that bubble, and that's the one you want, all right. Uh, here I picked up, uh, just awesome. I love Alex Ross. I had to pick this one up here. Uh, their devil shooting with on 500 of their devil. Pretty, pretty dope cover, right? Nice Alex Ross, man. Uh, did never had this book. 
Um, always came across it and I always pushed it back. I'll get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. And at one point it was going for crazy, not crazy, but it was going for what it was it going for before it was like a dollar bug, five dollar bug, whatever. Um underrated book though, nonetheless, it should it should, it should be getting its love. Uh Alpha Flight issue number one. Uh, tons of first appearances here. We have uh Puck and some others in there. It's pretty dope. Don't have the uh, new stand for that. Uh, Star Wars issue number 21. Awesome AHA cover. Uh, AHA, AJA. <laughs> Secret Avengers issue number 7. Just dope Moon Knight cover there. Picked up. Uh, I'm trying to complete this run because I, I really like the covers on this. Um, I think Alex Malik does all the covers on this run of Moon Knight. Uh, Bendis writes the story on this. Uh, just a nice. This is the second printing of issue number 1. Then I got my eye on. Got my eye on. Uh, Haunt number one, uh, number one, Tom McFarlane cover. This is hot at one point. Uh, Spider Man 2, uh, number one, first appearance of uh, Evil Miles. Uh, Captain Marvel issue number one. I think this is a 2014 run. Uh, this is a dope David Lopez cover. And this is the second printing. Not much you see on of these on eBay. I'm not saying they're going for crazy price, but I only see like maybe two or three, four maybe sold on eBay from what I've seen. You know, so pretty cool. Here I have uh, Avengers issue number one, uh, the Heroic Age. There you go, cover there. Um, first appearance of uh, what is it, Aziz uh, T'Challa? Aziz T'Challa? Uh, correct me in the comments. <laughs> uh, here I thought did, I like collecting these kind of like um, stuff. Uh, here I have Rambo comics issue number one. Never had this one here. This is pretty dope though. Uh, I, I know there's a two and I think three. I gotta pick those up too. But he didn't have those. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man issue number um, 90. I already know, guys. New stand at that. They saying, you know, uh, could be, to, you know, with the first appearances of the black suit, there's the black suit in this Spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, ASM, you already know, 252. Uh, the team up, 141. Uh, you know, so, so this is it. Web of Spider-Man, you already know. And so on, so on. So, pretty cool cover. So, uh, guys, you know, we always mention in the East West, uh, check out, you know, the first of first appearances, number ones is always, you know, people look after, but at the same time, last issues, man, last issues are very low printed, especially in this, um, like in the 80s, 70s, 80s and 90s, those, those were very low printed, man. And here I picked up issue number, uh, 81 of Ghost Riders, last issue and it's a new stand. Nice copy, BF copy, I should say. BF copy of that, pretty dope. And then I got Conan, um, uh, issue number Conan the Barbarian issue two seventy five. There is a new stand version of this, but I got the direct. And this is like a VF copy, VF minus stuff like that. Uh, move on to Vader's Castles, uh, Tales from Vader's Castles from Star Wars Adventures IDW number one. Let's pick that one up there. You know, Star Wars is hot right now. I picked up some of these free comic book days for Star Wars. Thought it was pretty dope. Uh. Star Wars, Darth Vader, and the Lost Command. I just thought it was a dope-ass Darth Vader cover. I picked it up. Issue number four. I'm from Dark Horse. Issue number four. Yes, issue number four. Star Wars, uh, number 10 from Dark Horse also. Just a dope Luke Skywalker cover. And a dope Darth Vader from issue number six of Star Wars, Dark Horses. Right, and then I picked up the last book I picked up from Richie's... Um, is Star Fader issue number four, second appearance of Dr. Afra. Um, but this is the fourth printing. Number four, fourth printing. So pretty dope. Uh, I really like this. I got the first print and I have the first appearance of uh, Dr. Afra too. So uh, pretty dope to have, you know, so that there. Give me a great deal on that. So yeah, um, I'm not going to speak prices about how, what I picked up on those back issues. Uh, but I was doing the numbers and, you know, what they last sold for. And, you know, I, I, if you know, if I was to you know sell them or whatever, I, I basically I, I should say I doubled, I doubled them. Um, so pretty dope, man. Pretty awesome. Shout out to the Richie's Comic Cabana again, uh, for giving us access to the you know, the the inventory you had it back um in, in your store. Uh, that shit is not open to everybody. So you know, shout out to him for that. Um, and shout out to um Josh. Yeah, we know, man. Give my box, my pull list. I got a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, do some more whole videos. I'll show you throughout what I picked up. Uh, shout out to my boys, Warriors, uh, Erod, um, um, Biggs, Manny. You gotta get up the next one, man. We missed you, man. Other than that, guys, man, I'm gonna cut this off right now. 20 minutes, I think, is pretty good. Uh, and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Cut like a
guillotine.